you're watching 8-bit days a week and we're gonna continue with our performance testing on various uh, PlayStation games running on the PlayStation Classic and this time we're going to play Gunner's Heaven one of the earlier titles of the PlayStation and uh, didn't really get much um, attention but it is kind of uh, memorable to me it's a nice game so let's see how good or bad does it run on a PlayStation Classic and as always I did not do any tweaking on the configuration just the show FPS just so you guys can see how it runs and um, right now we're seeing like a flicker there I don't recall that being part of the game. I don't think it is. So there's uh, something wrong, obviously, right now. <laughs> anyway, that's just like the intro. Let's go ahead and... Oh, voice on, okay. Let's go ahead and run it. Exosonics, Ruka, Hitfield. All right. I do see that there is a problem on this one. The frames are okay. <laughs> pressing the wrong button at once. Frame rate is okay, but there's just really that flickering thing that occurs. I wonder if you could actually see it on the video. I think you should be able to see it. So there is a problem on this one much to my dismay as this definitely has a fun gameplay reminds me of a metal slug without the slugs or you know contra run and gun and this also has like a two player mode and once again unfortunately if you don't have the USB hub you won't be able to play this on your modded um, PlayStation Classic. I suppose if you follow the other... I mean, I know there's uh, another modding technique where you put the games on the internal storage of the Classic. It has a 16 gig. Then you should be able to play two players. but as of this recording I don't think that's a safe method right now it might break your system so not willing to risk that I'll just go ahead and um, oh, should have used that one from the start Kind of slower. Anyway, the flickering seems to have. Oh no, it's still there. I wonder if it's supposed to represent uh, something actually happening within the game. I think I can't really. I don't really recall seeing that before though. So if you could actually bear with it, then it should be fine. I mean, the game should be fine. It is playable, responsive, and... Um, maybe you could try the... I know there's a PAL version of this. It's called Rapid Reload. Maybe that one doesn't share the problems. that this one is exhibiting right now. Oh, no. So it is a 
challenging game. Patience, um, just like uh, just like uh, Contra, actually. Can just keep on running. You have to plan your attack. I still wonder why this game didn't get much attention. Probably because it was a 2D game. And they were really pushing for that 3D revolution during those years. In fact, if I recall, Sony did not allow 2D games to be released initially. That's what they wanted, that initially at least, they wanted everything to be 3D to showcase the console's uh, capabilities and that it's the next, it was the next big, big thing. Uh, thankfully, they didn't really push hard on that. Um, we still got 2D games like, um, I don't know, NBA Jam and uh, Mortal Kombat. And then of course there's a... Uh, Later in its life, we got Mega Man X for, uh, of course, Symphony of the Night. Lots of 2D games there. trouble with this guy. I think he has one more. And I might die on this one. Okay, there you go. Well, I think that's it for this one. So... Gunner's Heaven or Rapid Reload, there are some problems and if you can get used to it then everything should be still be playable but um, it's kinda distracting to be honest for me so I would say that it's not perfectly playable even if the frame rates are good and you are watching 8-bit days a week Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Catch me more of playing um, PlayStation games on PlayStation Classic. Thanks for watching.